If you're going to tow a trailer with your Nissan Versa, you will need trailer wiring. It is required by the law. Let's break it down. You'll need the tools seen here to complete your installation. Our trailer wiring is going to connect to our vehicle's tail light harness on both sides. To begin, we have to pull out the flooring. Next, we will remove our rear threshold panel. It's held in by two push pins. We will use a flathead screwdriver to remove them. Next, we'll just pull out the panel and put it to the side. On the driver's side, we'll just remove this push pin with the flathead screwdriver. We'll pull back on the panel, and now we have access to our taillight harness. Now we're going to disconnect our harness by pressing the tab on the top. And now we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now we'll take the T connector with the yellow, red, and brown wire, and we'll plug it into our driver's side taillight. Now we'll take our green T connector and plug it into our passenger side tail light. Now we'll take our white wire with the ring terminal and we're gonna ground it here to the body of the vehicle using a self-tapping screw and a quarter inch socket. Now we're going to connect our power wire to the black wire on our converter box. We will be using our U-Haul exclusive power wire that has a protective loom on it. We will be using a heat shrink butt connector to connect our wires. And we'll be using a butane torch to seal it up. Next, we're going to bring our power wire underneath our vehicle. We're going to bring it down this passenger side vent. Now let's go over some storage options for your four flat harness. You can leave it here in the trunk and pull it out through the weather seal when you need to use it, or you can bring it underneath the vehicle and mount it next to your hitch. Let's show you how that's done. Now we're gonna put our four flat harness through the driver's side vent to get it underneath our vehicle. Now that we're done in the cargo area, we're gonna put it all back together and put it up on the ramps. Now we're gonna bring our power wire to our engine compartment following the brake lines. First, we're gonna bring it over this panel, and then we're gonna follow this loom over this cross member. Now we're gonna bring it over to our brake lines, and we're gonna follow it all the way down. And we're gonna secure it using zip ties. We're gonna use a fishing technique to bring our wire into the engine compartment. We're gonna take this pole, we're gonna guide it down this opening on the passenger side. Now we will tape our wire to our pole. Now back in the engine compartment, we're gonna pull our wire up. Now we're gonna pull it nice and tight and zip tie it to this loom. So we're gonna bring it over to our battery and we're gonna zip tie it right here. Now we're gonna connect our fuse holder to our power wire with our U-Haul exclusive power wire. All we have to do is plug it in. Now we're gonna connect our fuse holder to the positive post. We're gonna remove this nut using a 12 millimeter socket. Next, we'll put our 10 amp fuse into the fuse holder, and then we'll put our cap on. And now we'll clean up the rest of our wires. Back on the driver's side, we're gonna bring our four flat harness through the bumper support next to our hitch receiver. Now we're going to mount our four flat harness right here next to the hitch receiver using a four flat mounting bracket. So we're gonna line up our bracket and drill our first hole using a 3 16 drill bit. Now we're gonna take our screw and we're gonna put it into place. Then we'll line up our mounting bracket and secure it using the provided nut. Then we'll repeat on the second hole. Then we'll tighten it up using a 10 millimeter socket. 
Now we'll slide our desk cover over our harness. Then I'll put our harness in the bracket. And then we'll put our dust cover on top. Now we're gonna take this extra wire and we're gonna zip tie it behind the bumper. Thanks for watching our video. Have fun and be safe. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit us online at uhaulhitches.com.